Greetings and salutations, everyone. This is Super Snow, which you're seeing in the background of some Alan Wake I'm playing on the glorious PC Master Race. And this story blew my fucking mind. I really don't even know where to begin with this. So a man in Canada decided to disagree with a feminist on Twitter because, as we all know, that is such a heinous crime. And how could he have not known that you could go to prison for six months for this? Well, apparently he didn't. He dared to disagree with a feminist on Twitter, and she took it as, oh my god, I can't believe he could have had the audacity to disagree with me. And she's taking him to court for it, and possibly going to get this man in jail for six months. I'm not bullshitting you. This is a real story, my friends. This is, this is how stupid modern feminism can be. Now, obviously, not all feminism is like this, and obviously there are really, you know, actual decent feminists out there really trying to stop actual sexism all around the world. But sadly, they are overshadowed dramatically, I might add, by radical feminists. I don't understand why people allow such retards like this to get away with this. This is not, oh, b freedom of speech and all this stuff. No, this is, no, they, that, that feminist has been harassing this man. And it has even been shown, police have shown, that no, nothing this man has done has ever been any form of harassment. But it has been proven that these women have been harassing this man all the way up to getting a third. Well, somebody pretending to be a 13 year old to try to get this man to look like a pedophile. I'm not joking, my friends. This is what today's feminists have become. And not doing anything about it. Hell, even me making this video it doesn't help anything. I don't get it, man. Why Why is this allowed? Why is it... Why do I have to make this video talking about it as if it's some brand new thing to get any kind of awareness for this? You know what I'm saying, man? Why aren't actual police forces or people in the government standing up and saying this is not right at all for this man to be treated like this and these feminists should be charged with... Well, whatever they've done, there's so much stuff involved here that I can't even name everything, but it's it's a lot. Like I said, somebody pretended to be a 13-year-old just to try to get this man charged with pedophilia. That's the kind of length these feminists will go to, to when you disagree with them, my friend. These are the radical feminists who want to kill all men, who want all men to be castrated and put in camps and only used when they need a new child to be born and all this other crazy shit that these feminists dream of doing, people. I'm not playing around. This is, this is it. And sadly, this is not just an American story. This comes out of Canada. Canada! Of all places. You'd think it'd be like from America, but no, it's from Canada. This shit is crazy, man. And I hate being a male these days when it comes to this kind of stuff because this is what this is what I have to deal with. And this is what all future generations of men have to deal with. Unbelievable, my friends. Unfucking believable. <sighs> this is Super Snow. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Have a nice day.